Hey cuties, so in today's role-playing video, I got adopted by a baddie. Oh my gosh, that movie was so good. What should we watch next? Ooh, how about something funny this time? But we definitely need more popcorn first. Oh, I'll get some. Wanna come with me? Oh, can I come too? You stay here and pick the next movie, silly. We'll be back in just about like five or ten minutes. I gotta pick the next movie? Of course you can, kiddo. We'll just be back shortly. Okay, okay, hurry back. We will. Love you, sweetheart. Love you too. Right, now, what to choose? Ice Age or Monsters, Inc.? Decisions, decisions. Moments later. I am so glad Mackenzie likes to hang out with us. Yeah, most of the kids her age would rather be out with friends. Aw, she is still our little movie buddy. She gets that from you, always picking the best movies. Remember when she was obsessed with those talking animal movies? I think we... Wait, watch out! <laughs> A few moments later. Hello, boy. George? Hi, uh, can I come in? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's going on? Hi, Mackenzie. Is anyone else here with you? No, it's just me. What's happening? Well, Mackenzie, there's been a terrible accident. Your parents, they're, uh, not coming back. What do you mean? Are they okay? I'm sorry. They were in a terrible accident. They're, they're gone. And the other driver didn't make it either. No, no, that can't be true. You're lying. I know this is hard, but you need to pack a few things. We're going to take you to a safe spot. Space. No, this is my home. Where are my parents? I'm really sorry, Mackenzie, but we really must go. But, but where am I going to go? There's an adoption center where you'll stay for now. They'll take good care of you. The adoption lady's waiting for us. No, no, I don't want to go there. I want my mom and dad. I really wish I could change this kiddo, but you need to come with me. It'll be okay. This is the worst day of my life. Poor kid. Probably won't get adopted either. No one wants a preteen. Moments later. All right, here we are, Mackenzie. This is the adoption center. I guess it could be worse. Come on, let's go on in. Oh, good evening, George. This must be Mackenzie. Hello, dear. I am the adoption lady. Hi. Oh, sweetie, you must be exhausted. Yeah, a little bit. I'm more just sad. I completely understand. Take all the time you need. All the other kids are already asleep, but we can get you settled in now and do some introductions tomorrow. Okay. Mackenzie, you'll be safe here. They'll take good care of you. Okay, thanks, I guess. Good night, Mackenzie. Stay strong, kiddo. See you later. Bye. Now, let's get you to your room, dear. We can talk more in the morning. All right. Now, right this way, and if you need anything, just let me know. Okay. So, here's the sleeping room, Mackenzie. You can choose any bed that's available. Thanks. Now, just get some rest, dear. Tomorrow will be a new day. I hope so. Good night. The next Morning. Good morning, Mackenzie. How did you sleep? It was okay, I guess. Well, we have breakfast ready in the dining hall. Why don't you come and join us? Sure, yeah, thanks. Hey, new girl, you got any boogers to trade? What? No, ew, that's gross. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm Alex, but people around here call me the Booger King. Ignore him. He's always like this. I'm Sam. Um, are you gonna eat your toast? Uh, you can have it. Hey, Sam, leave some food for the rest of us, will ya? What can I say? I'm a growing boy. Growing sideways, maybe. You guys are funny. I aim to please. So, why'd you land in this lovely joint? Well, it's a long story. Everyone here has a long story. Mine's about my love affair with donuts and, well, my parents dying. And I've never even met my parents, so this has been, like, my real home. Wait, you've been here, like, your whole life? I thought kids got adopted. Adopted? Adopted. <laughs> You're a funny girl. All right, kids, let's finish up your breakfast and then it's chore time. Chore time? More like snore time. What do we have to do? Clean in the main area, help in the kitchen, eat everything in sight. He means he eats everything in sight. The rest of us do the actual work. Oh, I see. Don't worry, chores aren't that bad. Just think of it as an extreme sports for lazy people. Mackenzie, sweetie, would you mind helping in the garden today? Sure, yeah, I could do that. Oh, man, lucky. Great. Well, let's get started then. Welcome to the chaos crew, Mackenzie. Thanks, guys. One hour later. Do, 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 do. Wow, gardening is actually quite calming. Oh, my gosh. Mackenzie. Oh, my gosh. Sky, what are you doing here? I heard about what happened, and I am so sorry, girly. Thanks, Sky. It's been tough. I know. I just wish I could do something. Yeah, me too. It's just so weird being here. Wait a second. I have an idea. I'm going to try to convince my mom to adopt you. What? Really? You think she would do that? Totally, girly. She always told you she'd help you out whenever you need it. No way. That would be, like, 
amazing, Sky. Seriously, okay, I'm gonna go ask her right now. You actually think she'll say yes? I'll make sure she does. You'd be like my sister. That would be the best thing ever. Okay, stay put. I'm not going anywhere. Go, Sky, hurry. Okay, be right back. Fingers crossed. Fingers and toes, good luck. Later that same evening. Hey! I better go see what's happening inside. Ugh, these are all the choices. Well, we have one more. This is Mackenzie. Oh, that is more like it. Hello, love. I'm Beatrix the Baddie. Whoa, you're pretty, uh, hi, Beatrix. You got good eyes, too. I will take her. Hey, what about me? I can do tricks. And I can eat a whole pizza myself. Nom, 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 nom. Ew, I am not looking for a circus act. Well, Mackenzie is a very special girl. She's been through a lot. Is that so? So tell me about yourself, Mackenzie. Well, I like reading and movies. I help out a lot, and I'm told that I'm very responsible. Responsible, you say? Interesting. Uh, what do you know about fashion? Fashion? Well, I love it. I mean, I've just never really had the chance to explore it. Oh, we'll change that. You'll have a wardrobe to die for. Really? That sounds amazing. Indeed, and you seem like you fit right in with my lifestyle. Well, I would love to be adopted by you, Beatrix. Call me B and it's settled. You're coming home with me, darling. Wow, well, well, this is great. Come along, Mackenzie. We have so much to do and a whole new life to start. Okay, well, bye, everyone. Don't forget about us, Mackenzie. Yeah, remember the little people when you're famous. I won't, and thank you, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. Take care, Mackenzie, and Beatrix, please take good care of her. Of course, darling. Now, come on, let's go, Mackenzie. Coming, B. A few moments later. Whoa, this place is amazing. Welcome to your new home, darling. Only the finest for us baddies. It's like a palace in here. Is that a pool with a built-in hot tub and jacuzzi? Indeed. We call it the outdoor lagoon. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. You deserve nothing but the best. Now follow me. I will show you your room. My own room? Duh, girl. You're going to need your own room for all of your clothes. All right, and here we are. This is my room? It's huge. All yours, and closet is full of designer clothes. We'll start with your outfit, and then probably your hair, and definitely some lessons, but soon you'll be a full-on baddie like me. Thank you so much, B. I, I can't believe this is happening. Get used to it, darling. Now, let's get you settled in. We have a private appointment at Rockstar in about an hour. Private appointment? This just keeps getting better. Welcome to the baddie life. We live large. I can't wait to get started. One hour later. Time to leave for our private appointment at Rockstar, girl. Come on. Coming, B. Whoa, is that a Hummer? Only the best for us, darling. This is literally my dream car, but I would expect you to have like a driver or something. Baddies do everything themselves because we know it'll be done better. Hey, you are a baddie. Hop in, darling. We have a fabulous day ahead. I am so ready for this. Meanwhile. Hi, Mrs. What? She got adopted already? Why did she wait for me? She didn't tell you anything, Sky? No, nothing. I'm so confused. She left with Miss Beatrix. It all happened very quickly. Oh, but my mom was gonna adopt her. I'm disappointed too, Sky, but maybe Mackenzie made the right decision for herself. What the heck? I just can't believe she didn't wait. Well, sometimes things happen fast. Now, come on, let's go home, Sky. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. Of course, and I'm sure Mackenzie will be just fine. I hope so. Come on, let's go, sweetheart. All right, coming, Mom. Meanwhile. All right, well, how about this one, B? Hmm, not bad, but you can do better. Okay, uh, let me try in another one. Ooh, this one should be good. Okay, let me try this one on. All right, what about this outfit? Getting closer, but still not quite there. All right, well, third time's a charm. Ta-da! What do you think of this? Now, that is a look, but I think you can go all out. Okay, one more try, darling. All right, you got it. This is it. I love it. Perfect. You look absolutely stunning. Really? You think so? Absolutely. And just in time, too. Your hair appointment starts shortly. Yes, I want my hair to look as good as yours. You got high standards, girl. I like it. Come on, let's go. Right behind you. One hour later. Wow, B, I love my new hair. It is amazing. It does suit you, doesn't it? Oh, uh, okay. Now what's next? Well, being a baddie also 
that comes with a lot of hard work. Hard work? Like what? Y'all see. Come on, let's hop in the car. What? You're not gonna tell me? Where's the fun in that? Just trust me. All right, I'm in. Moments later. Seriously? The gym? Ugh, oh, this sucks. Welcome to your new daily workout spot, darling. A baddie needs to be fit and fierce. Daily? <laughs> You're funny. Come on, we've got work to do. Time to get that baddie bod. All right, fine. What's the plan? Well, first we'll start with some cardio. Now, come on, let's hit the treadmill. All right, here I go. Do you feel the burn yet, Mackenzie? Yeah, jeez, this is intense. Keep going. No pain, no gain. Oh, jeez, you make it look easy. For years, you'll get the hang of it. Now feel the burn, love the burn, be the burn. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Great job, Mackenzie. Now let's move on to weights. Weights? I'm not sure if I can lift much. You'll start small and work your way up. Everyone starts somewhere. Okay, well, let's give it a go. Ooh, ah, okay, well, this isn't so bad. See, being a baddie is all about being confident. So remember, you're stronger than you think. Thanks, B. Okay, oh, what's next? We'll finish with some laps in the pool. Swimming is a great full body workout. Swimming sounds fun. <laughs> this will be fun, but come on, let's go get changed. Oh, my body's gonna hurt tomorrow. A few moments later. All right, Mackenzie, time to push yourself. Start with 10 laps. 10? But that's a lot. Remember, you can do anything. You're a baddie now. No complaints. Now go. Right, right. Yeah, I'm a baddie. Jump in. All right, here I go. Keep that form tight, strong strokes, Mackenzie. Uh, uh, this is harder than it looks. That is the point. You are doing great. Keep it up. Only nine more laps to go. Uh, okay, that sounds like a lot. I can do this. Oh, okay. I'm exhausted. That was intense. You did amazing, Mackenzie. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I feel like I can do anything now. That's the spirit of a true baddie. Ready for a relaxing evening? Definitely. What's the plan? How about a girls' movie night? Just us, some snacks, and our favorite movie. Sounds perfect. I can't use a break. Let's head home, then. You've earned it. Thanks, B. Today was really fun. And it's only the beginning, darling. Come on. Let's go and get home. I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun. Later that night. Ah, uh, Sky and I always have girl movie nights like this. Wait, Sky! I forgot about Sky! Oh, no, 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 no. What? What's wrong, darling? I need to go and make a really important phone call. Is it okay if we rain check on this movie night? Of course, Mackenzie. Do what you need to do, girl. Thank you, B. It'll be quick. Take your time. I'll be working in my office if you need me. Okay, I appreciate it. Anytime, darling. Go make that call. Kylie, girly, I've been trying to get a hold of you like all day. I, I am so sorry. Everything happened so fast. My mom was even going to adopt you, girly. We came to the agency and then you were just like gone. What? She was? Sky, I had no idea. I, I'm really sorry. Well, it was a little rude not to tell me. I know. I should have told you. It's just Beatrix is amazing. She's a total baddie, Sky. Wow, cool. Her house is huge. She's so cool and she even drives a pink Hummer. And today we went to the gym and the salon and she's been helping me with everything. I feel like I'm living in a dream. Wow, what? A dream that sounds great. You should see her house, Sky. It's like a palace, and she's teaching me how to be a real baddie. It's amazing. You probably just wanted her to be your mom because she's a baddie. It sucks because I really thought you liked my mom, Sky. It's not that. Oh, what does she know? Forget her. I am now gonna go to sleep peacefully in my giant baddie bed, completely unbothered by her. Ugh. The next morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Like a queen bee, thanks. So, are you ready for another fabulous day? Absolutely. What's on the agenda? First, brunch at the most exclusive cafe in town. Then, a little surprise. More surprises? That sounds perfect. Remember, darling, always walk with confidence. You are a baddie now. Got it. Confidence is key. And don't forget to post on social media. A true baddie keeps her followers updated. Of course. Okay, let's take a selfie right now. Now. Perfect. All right, now let's head out, girl. Lead the way, B. A few moments later. All right, here we are, darling. The most exclusive cafe in the town. Whoa, this place is gorgeous. Only the best for us. Now walk in with more confidence. Shoulders back and chin up. Right, right. Sorry. Here's my signature table. All right, perfect. Good morning, ladies. May I take your order? We will have the baddie 
Baddie Brunch Special, please. Excellent choice. It will be right out. The Baddie Brunch Special? What's that? It's only exclusive Baddie-only menu options. Duh. Wow, this is like so fancy. I can't believe I'm here. This is your new life. I am loving every moment of it. Good. Now, let's take another selfie. The lighting in here is always so per. Yeah, sure thing, B. Okay, say cheese. <laughs> All right, so what's the surprise that you mentioned? Patience, darling. You'll find out soon enough. You're making me so curious. All in good time. And here you go, ladies. Enjoy your meals. Wow, this looks amazing. Taste it, darling. It's even better than it looks. Wow, you're right. This is delicious. Told you. I feel like I'm in a dream. And it's just the beginning. There is so much more to come. Moments later. That was delightful, wasn't it? Absolutely delicious. I'm stuffed. Ready for your surprise? Definitely. What is it? You'll see. Come on, let's get going. I'm so excited. Are we going somewhere special? Always, and I think you're gonna love this. I can't wait. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's go. A few moments later. B, is that a private jet? It sure is. Baddies do baddie things. Our chariot awaits. This is unbelievable. Where are we going? It's a surprise, remember? This is like the coolest thing ever. It's like a dream come true. She's all ready for you whenever, Beatrix. Thanks. Now, let's get on board, shall we? Right behind you. This is so cool. I've never seen Brookhaven from up here before. It's like out of a movie. Yep, it's quite spectacular. I like to come up here to get away from all the normies. The normies? What's that? It's all the people beneath us, darling. The shame, the regular, boring people of Brookhaven. We are the baddies, and they are the normies, ew. Oh, so, uh, where are we going? That's still a surprise, but you'll find out soon enough. Okay, I'm so excited. Man, everything is so surreal up here. I wish Sky could see this. Sky? Yeah, she's my best friend. We used to do everything together. I just wish that we could be experiencing all of these things with her in my life. Let me stop you right there. Baddies don't need anyone but themselves. Just forget about her. It'll be easier that way. Yeah, right. Okay, I guess. Trust me, Mackenzie. Friends come and go, but being a baddie is forever. I miss her, though. It's hard not sharing these cool experiences with her. You'll make new friends, better friends, one who understands the baddie life. I really hope so. Now, enjoy the rest of the flight. We'll be landing soon. All right, sounds good. Wow, this is pretty amazing. That's the spirit. The world is yours for the taking. Moments later. All right, we've landed, darling. This entire beach is just for us. So, what do you want to do first? Jet skiing, paragliding, or maybe swim with the dolphins? I know how you love dolphins. Uh, I don't know. Um, hello? You don't seem excited. What's wrong? I just miss Sky a lot. Ugh, you ungrateful child. What did I tell you? Baddies don't ever need anyone but themselves. But... No buts. You would still be at the adoption center surrounded by losers if it wasn't for me. I know, but... You think you could just cry about your old life? I've given you everything, and this is how you repay me? I'm sorry, I just... Sorry isn't good enough. You need to learn to appreciate what you have. Maybe a walk home will give you time to think about how amazing your life is now that I've adopted you. What? You want me to walk home? Yes, walk. Think about everything that I've done for you. I just want Sky and my real parents back. One eternity later. Jeez, that walk took forever, but I'm glad I made it. I really need my bestie. Squeezy! Sky, Sky, please, it's Mackenzie. Oh, what do you want, Mackenzie? Early, I miss you so much. I mean, I've done so many cool things. Private jets, shopping sprees, fancy lunches, but none of it's the same without you. Oh, really? So you came here bragging about your new life again and expect me to feel sorry for you? No, no, it's not like that. I just, I miss us. I want your mom to adopt me. Sorry, girly, you have a mom now. It's Beatrix the baddie. You should get home to your new life. Hi, please. No, I need you. You made your choice, girly. Go home your fancy life. Goodbye. Well, I guess I have nowhere else to go but home now. Much, much, much later. <sighs> Finally. What took you so long to walk home? Uh, I... You better not have gone over to Skies. Uh... You did, didn't you? You ungrateful little brat. I'm, I'm sorry. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry doesn't cut it. You think you can just run to your little friend whenever you feel like it? I guess you just aren't cut out for the baddie life. I just really missed her, and... And what about your parents? Do you miss them too? Because you better not. They're dead. Forget about them. Forget about everything else from your old life. I took you in and turned you into something better. What did you not get about that? Please, B, I... Don't you please me. You're a spoiled, ungrateful child. If it weren't for me, you would still be rotting in that adoption center. I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? You're nothing but a burden. I've given you everything, and all you do is whine and cry about your old life. You were nothing but an ugly, worthless loser before, and this is how you repay me? I'm trying. I really am. Well, you're failing miserably. Ugh, I should just drop you back off at the adoption center and let you live that pathetic, normie life that you deserve. Ugh. <laughs> Moments later. Why did all of this have to happen? I miss my parents and Sky so much. I just miss my old life. I thought this new life would be better, but it's just making everything worse. Mackenzie, oh, are you so sulking? No, I'm just tired. Tired? You've done nothing but mope around all day. Pull yourself together right this instant, or I swear I am taking you back to the adoption center tonight. I'm sorry. Sorry again. Ugh, how many times do I have to hear that word from you? I, I, <laughs> B, B, what's wrong? Oh my god, B. No, oh my gosh, someone help. Hang on, I'm calling 911. Moments later. I'm taking her away now, George. I can't believe this is happening again. Kenzie, I am so sorry. The paramedic said that Beatrix died from a stress-related heart attack. There was nothing anyone could do. What? This is all my fault. No, no, it's not your fault, I promise. Sometimes these things just happen. So what's gonna happen to me now? Well, I guess it's back to the adoption center for you, kiddo. I'm sorry. I don't want to go back there, please. Well, figure it out, Mackenzie. You're strong. You'll get through this. I miss my parents. I miss Sky. I miss my old life. I know, kiddo. I know. It's gonna be okay. Just take it one day at a time. I don't know if I can. You can, Mackenzie. You'll get through this this like you did last time. Now, come on. Let's go. Okay. Later that night. <laughs> I've literally been up all night crying. I can't take this anymore. Why did this have to happen? Mackenzie, uh, Mackenzie, you have a visitor? What? A visitor? Who is it? Just come down and see, would you? Okay, coming. Sky? Sky's mom, what are you two doing here? Hi, girly. Hi, honey. I, I, I thought you never wanted to see me again. You know what? We're best friends for a reason, girly. We can't stay mad at each other forever. And we are so sorry for what happened. That must have been really hard on you again. You heard about what happened to Beatrix? Yeah, we found out this morning and heard you that you got sent back here. So you guys came to say hi. That's really sweet of you. I really miss you, Sky. <laughs> You're funny, girly. No, Mackenzie, honey, we want to adopt you. Really? Seriously? Yes, sweetie. We couldn't let you go through this alone. You need a permanent home and family. This is the best news ever. I am so happy. I couldn't let my bestie go through a life in and out of the adoption center. You belong with us. Thanks, Guy and Mrs. Sky's mom, lady ma'am. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. We know you will be, honey. But first, uh, let's get you out of those clothes. Thank goodness. This doesn't really feel like my style anymore. Well, you can borrow some of my clothes now, now that we're like sisters. I've never had a sister before. I'm so excited. We're excited too. Yeah, and my mom isn't a certified baddie, but she's the best mom ever. Welcome to the family, girly. Now come on, let's go home.